Hello everyone. Today I would like to look at the tabular work as it relates to the portfolio. Now this is a document that many persons would have fell down in its delivery over many years. And I know for me, my students would have fell down on this document more so in the recent examination because it was stressed most. Um, so although I may have had students who had perfect tabular work, the mere fact that an element of it was missing simply means that it was wrong. All right. And so I wanted to nick that in the bud and I did not want the same problem to occur for many of you as educators and students, right? Because going forward, I want you to know what exactly this document should entail so that you can maximize the marks in the exam when that time comes so to get this done i am starting this video by looking at the csec syllabus right and i'm at the por um, the portion that speaks to the portfolio so we have the heading structure of the portfolio but i want to zoom in on the elements of the portfolio and more so on the tabular work so it says that the tabular work right an example of a ruled tabulation with main heading and multiple or multiple columnar headings applying oblique or vertical heading and sorting. So it is right here in the syllabus and we must ensure um, that we have all these elements. So for me, I know, for example, that um, my students tabular work must have a main heading, right? Um, it must have oblique or vertical heading and sorting. Now that is the part that I stressed the most, the oblique or vertical heading and the sorting. But the aspect that I tend not to zoom in on or I skip over was the multiple columnar headings. And that would have caused many of my students to fall down in a recent examination. So although they did pass, right i don't know if that one little mark hindered anything and for me i want all the marks all right and so today i'm going to look at a tabular work and zoom in on the multiple well all of these aspects right and for you to know what the multiple columnar heading is all about so i'm just going to quickly go to microsoft excel and here i have a tabular work so this tabular work has a main heading. It doesn't have a subheading. It only has a main heading and then it has a heading for the table. All right. It is currently, because it was drafted already, it is sorted, as you can see, A, C, O, S, etc. Right. So it is also sorted. All right. What else do we know about our tabular work? Now, the multiple columnar heading that's what we're looking at so basically the multiple columnar heading is a main heading that sits over subheadings all right so here we have total value and it is merged and this is a main heading that sits over the subheadings 2012 and 2013 so this is an example of a multiple columnar heading more than one headings all right. Um, number of loans should also be a multiple columnar heading sitting over 2012 and 2013. So I wanted to show you how that is done. So basically, I will just merge um, cell B3 and cell C3 together. I will go miss, um, I'm going to select merge and center. And there it is over 2012 and 2013. All right. So that's how the multiple columnar heading should look. So the, if I can remember well from the syllabus, it says that we should have uh, multiple columnar headings. We should have um, our headings being in vertical. The heading for our table should be either oblique or vertical. So I'm going to change these two headings, number of loans and total value. In um, I love oblique, so I'm going to put it in oblique heading. How do I do that? I highlight both. I'm going to right click and I'm going to go down to format cells. Now, while on format cells, 
you have at the heading here number alignment font border etc so i'm currently on alignment and i'm going to the far right where i have orientation so i'm just going to quickly i'm just going to take this line from text and drag it up to 45 degrees right or i could just type 45 degrees here and press ok if i wanted vertical heading then i would have typed 90 degrees so that's it now if i wanted all the words in one straight line i could just make this row a bit longer by putting my cursor between um rows three and four and dragging it down to make this row a bit longer right and there you have it uh, and that's it oh something else now I have said this in more than one of my videos as it relates to spreadsheet and tabulation right but um, for this column here normally when you put in your figures by default figures um, or values are always right aligned however I don't like when it is right aligned with all that space between um, before it I rather you take it over a bit and while doing so you watch the longest number in that column and watch the space before and after that so if you look here for this column for example you will see this 70,000 look at the space before and after this value that's what I'm talking about but please note that I have taken over the figure to the center but the figure is not centered right if the figure was centered let me do it with this one it will look something like this all right and that is not aligned your hundred your thousand tens and ones you know that right is not aligned and if i had decimal points they will not be aligned so to get it aligned while it is right aligned right i'm just going to use my increase and decrease indent icons and press it to take them over a bit so here i am pressing my increase indent icon sometimes when you press it it will take the figure all the way over to the right right but you just have to press both of them and then see which one takes it to where you want and sometimes it will take the alignment to the left and you'll have to put it back on the right but in this case it's working for me so i press it and come over to the center while watching the space before and after this figure and so based on the criteria for the syllabus i have my main heading i have my multiple columnar headings i have my table sorted and my table is also using oblique headings all right i'm going to quickly add another sheet and just show it to you again for persons who may have a problem so um i'm not going to do any table but i'm just going to show you a multiple columnar heading so i'm going to start i'm going to have name and then I'm gonna say basic pay. All right. Um, so below basic pay, so I want basic pay to sit over some headings. What are the headings? I want it to sit over hours, rate, and amount. Okay. And so maybe I just put for someone Alex. okay so just putting in some random figures so it's a 40 hour work week for these persons and they get paid at a rate of 20 20 dollars per hour all right and then the amount all right so all right, let me quickly equal that times that all right so that's it all right but i'm not focusing on that what i'm focusing on is the heading all right so to get this to be a multiple columnar heading i'm going to highlight the cells that i want and i'm going to merge it merge and center it over the subheadings all right uh, maybe i should put in another heading just to um just for you to see it better over time and i'm going to put the same headings here for you to appreciate it a bit better 
uh, over time and I'm gonna also merge this merge and center all right now name is here by itself but I want name to go for both these headings basic pay and hours so I'm gonna highlight this section and I'm also gonna merge I'm not gonna merge and center I'm just gonna merge these cells all right and that's it um, Maybe I could have placed, this person did one hour overtime, this one did two hours of overtime, and they get $24 an hour. All right. All right, so let me just put in my grid lines for you to see this now. So I'm going to select all borders. All right. So there you have it. And then I'm going to turn. Which one should I turn now? Let me turn these into oblique headings. Format cell, as I said before. And I'm going to type it in here at the bottom, 45. 45 degrees will give me an oblique heading. All right. Um, pull it down a bit. All right, so that's it. Um, yeah, let me bold this. And you didn't have to do it like that. Let me just undo a bit. And put basic P and overtime in oblique headings. And again, you don't have to do oblique. You can do vertical, but I prefer oblique. All right, I'm not seeing this. I'm just going to make this row a bit longer. And there it is. Yeah, I think that looks better for the table. Bold everything. And that's it. So now I have a table with oblique heading. And it also has multiple columnar headings. All right. So please, I hope you learned or you got this re-emphasized from the video. Whenever you're doing your tabular work for your EDPM portfolio, it must have multiple columnar headings. If you do it and it's perfect and you do not have multiple columnar headings, it's automatically incorrect. If you do it and you have multiple columnar headings and none of the heading is in vertical or oblique, um, we call it now, is either turned vertical or oblique in its orientation, it is wrong. All right. If you do it and you have multiple columnar headings, it's turned either vertically or oblique and it's not sorted, it is wrong. So to not have one of those things embedded in your tabular work, it is automatically incorrect. All right. So please, I hope you, you understood how to do your uh, multiple columnar headings from this video. But I just wanted to emphasize this to persons because like myself, who my students fell down, some of them in this area, in the last exam, I do not want it to happen to anyone. All right. So hope you learned something here today. Thank you very much for watching and see you in my next upload as I try each and every time to make EDPM simple. Goodbye.